So my idea is to have these blocks and So it's now a couple of days later and uh, this is the mini arrival carbon fiber rig I'm working on and I'm trying to somehow cut the sail groove so I made this contraption which uh, fits and it, it, it cuts the groove and uh, it's, it's got a very sharp point on it So I'm standing outside and I took one of these break off knives and ground a little bit so I'm using it more as a, as a scraper and I'm trying to just work this track or groove a little bit bigger each pass or first of all cut through. Uh, but it looks nice and straight, so I'm thinking this might be a, a good way of doing it. Well, I gave up. But now, since I have this groove, it's pretty easy to uh, to use the Dremel and cut the sail track. So I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and do that. So now with the sail track cut with the Dremel tool, I'm going to use just a piece of uh, like a putty and then uh, 180 grit paper. Mosquitoes like crazy. So I'm, I'm using this piece of stainless steel is about 40,000 thick, one millimeter and then some 180 grit regular sandpaper and then I, I uh, sand the sail groove here the, so works okay it's you have you pull you, you, I mean it's hard to push but once I have the correct width I can probably go both ways both up and down pull and push. It's another day and uh, try to get it to focus here. I made these for the shrouds. It's an M2 screw going through the mast and since it's carbon don't uh, torque that too much. And then now uh, this is the um, spreaders and it's a three millimeter um, carbon fiber rod going through the mast and then I glue and I wind uh, carbon fiber thread on the end so that it doesn't split. Works pretty good and doesn't weigh a thing. So I didn't film a lot when I put the rig together but it's finally done, ready for test sale this afternoon. So, first mini arrival with a carbon fiber mast. Pretty cool. Loaded up to go to the pond and test my carbon fiber rig. World premiere for mini arrival with a carbon fiber rig. Pretty cool. So these are uh, protruded uh, carbon fiber, three millimeter inner. I think they're four millimeter diameter. And uh, this is uh, oh, forgot the English word. I'll 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 put it up there. <coughs> and uh, I make these little tanks here uh, myself, in stainless steel. And there's an M2 screw going through. And it's the same up here, and this is a, a hook that I glue for the forestay, and that I buy from uh, England. Mm. 
This is also store bought. I've been, I've had this this vang for a long time. This is my own design. It's not super super pretty here. I I focused on getting it ready to sail today. And uh, here you can see I have an adjustment on the on the main sheet here, so I can I can. Uh, I don't have to reprogram the radio if I want to, it's easy to tune it. She's quite battle scarred, but I plan a major overhaul of the boat once we're done uh, racing for the year. Number 33. First sail with the carbon ray. Pretty close to perfect balance. It's hard to sail and film, so bear with me. We're not allowed to have a jib boom. So I'm working on the, the rig for Australia too. So I have glued these as you saw in a previous clip or a couple of days ago. I have glued these two carbon fiber tubes together and uh, now I'm, I have filled with <coughs> thickened epoxy. And now I will uh, put a little bit of flexible bondo onto here and then sand it again and then paint it white and then we're going to cut this sail groove here in the smaller tube. Yeah, change of plans. So I'm putting one of these carbon fiber socks over the mast. The I just realized this is uh, protruded uh, where I'm gonna have my sail track so I'm, af I'm afraid that it will crack if I don't add this this will add a little bit of weight of course to the rig but um, I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway because I'm afraid that the sail track is not gonna be strong enough if I don't do this so now the sock the carbon fiber sock is wetted down and i'm going to use this perforated tape this is why i make the mast a little bit longer so i can tape this and then start winding this and then i will use the heat gun to shrink it and it should the excess uh, epoxy will seep out through these perforated holes here. that's the idea so now I have this tape on the entire mast and it's, I mean it might not look it, but it's a really heavy work and you can see how epoxy is seeping out. So now I'm going to take a piece, uh, just some uh, paper towel and wipe it and then I'm going to run the uh, heat gun on it.
so there we have it 2.6 meters worth of carbon fiber mast for Australia too um, I'm hope I will uh, unwrap this tomorrow tomorrow it's Saturday and then so I'll probably do it I have a obligation to go to tomorrow and I'll do it in the afternoon and then sand it and most likely cut the sail groove so we should be uh, putting some other hardware on it tomorrow here you can clearly see how much uh, epoxy that has seeped out it's, it's quite a bit and now I'm gonna start on oops it's hard to fill So it's the next day and uh, I'm sanding, I don't totally get it flattened so I will have to go with a little bit of flexible bondo because I don't want to take too much of the carbon fiber off. Probably could sand that but I think I'm going to do the bondo thing. And here you can see how it looks before I start sanding. So the mast is painted. Painted white. So now I'm going to let it hang here to dry for a while and then put it in the shed so it's where it's warm so that it's really the paint is, is dry tomorrow. So here, here she is. Carbon fiber mast with a slot. Oops. And uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and drill uh, for the, um, uh, the spreaders and the jumper spreader and make a mast top and also of course for, for the main boom and bang.